Alright, so today I'll be speedrunning a game, an indie game called The Factory Must Grow, where it's a factory building game similar to the likes of Mindus Tree and Factorio. Uh, if you do like those games, I'm personally I really loved it. Uh, so I've been asked by the developers to actually submit it a speedrun for them, and here's the run itself. I will be trying to get the best drill as po the best drill possible in as quick uh, as time as possible, and I'll be explaining what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So we're gonna randomize the seed, select the map, and we're gonna go. Alright, so usually the first thing I do is I'll get my two wood, and then I'll get as much stone as possible while going towards the iron vein really quickly. So they usually spawn around the same location, which is why I'm able to predict where it is. And so I'm just gonna quickly give myself carpal tunnel while I'm clicking that. Uh, you can. If you hold click, you can actually just collect the rocks on the ground like this. I actually have all the uh, stone that I need for my two furnaces for the beginning. So the reason why I need specifically two is because I'm actually going to fix my two iron right now. Uh, I could get coal, but coal is useful for other things later. So I'm actually just going to get the iron. And the reason why is because it is actually just faster to get the pickaxe rather than do anything else first. Uh, this game is still in its beta, so there isn't much to do with it yet, but for what it is in just a beta, it's probably one of the best factory building games to come out soon. Probably because it's of its simplicity and how much potential it has to do what other games probably can't do, which is actually create a factory building experience that is pretty easy to pick up and doesn't take hours and hours. Now obviously this is the demo, so there's a lot less content than how much there would be usually. Uh, so I do think that uh, this does have a lot to do with it. Uh, so right now what I'm doing is I'm actually just collecting as much uh, resources as I can. There's a really specific amount. So right now, for example, I'm collecting uh, about three and a half stacks of coal. And then I have to collect specifically 17 copper here. The reason why is because you need copper to make some of the machines, and so I already know how much resources I need. So I can get all of these and then just process them and process them into the furnaces and so on. Okay. So what I did just there is to hover your mouse over two different war veins, and you can actually mine them both at the same time, which is slightly faster. Uh, I can do that here with two big ones, which is really nice. And I don't really need that much stone for now, so I'm just gonna get enough for all my furnaces. I actually have enough stone for the rest of the run, so that's nice. Uh, before we do anything else, I'm gonna collect all my iron. I need specifically about 35 iron. actually slightly quicker to just go back make my furnaces and smelt the iron and for, and for the second reason is because I need my inventory space. So I'm gonna drop some coal on the floor here and I'm gonna clear out, clear out the tree so it'll lose it. My reason why is because I can just keep that there as a form of storage because I don't because making chests actually slows you down significantly. I don't have the inventory space but I'm just gonna craft the last of my two furnaces and I'm gonna drop my stone just like how I dropped the coal. And before I do anything else, I'm actually going to be picking up the coal, and I'm going to be smelting my copper and my a part of my iron. Uh, now, before I do anything else, I'm just going to drop and pick up my pickaxe to move back to my first slot. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm just going to talk a bit about this game. So this is an indie game made by only a team of I think two people. Uh, it's called I've already said the name. It's a new short seen it because you're on a TV channel right now, but it's called the Factory Must Grow. Uh, this is sort of a factory building game similar to the likes of Factorio, except this one is more focused around factory building. Now, what I'm playing right now is just a demo and it's completely free on itch.io, which the link to that should be in the description of this video that you're watching. Um, right now I'm just collecting my zinc and I'm going to cook the rest of my iron. So, 
I'm just going to finish cooking everything. And I need, while I'm waiting for my iron, uh, I'm actually going to go down. I'm gonna pick up the stone here. And so we see that I have enough. So if we look here, I do need to craft the blast furnace to craft this advanced hedgerow. Because you need to make some specific resources with that. And so right now, I just have to wait for everything to cook. So usually this part of the run is where we're just kind of waiting. It's actually not as efficient to make more furnaces because the speed you take in is minimal and you need to go down and get more stone later. Uh, right now I'm just going to make the anvil so I can craft my plates and wires later. And I'm going to pick up this iron. I'm going to spread it up between the furnaces that are not done yet. So this one here, for example, I'm going to cook the rest of the iron. And in here I may as well also put this in. So we're supposed to turn all of the copper we get into plates, except for three, which we're going to use for stuff later. I'm actually going to go down and mine more iron while my blast furnaces are cooking later on the run, which is why I didn't get everything that I needed just at the beginning, because there is a kind of a bit of waiting. Which when you're playing this game normally would really be an issue because you'd be building up your factory but I'm just trying to play as fast as possible currently so I just need to get as much stuff done uh, I will need to keep one iron uncooked so I can crush that later and then my three copper here that I need to keep uncooked the rest of these I'm gonna turn to plates all right and some of these plates will be actually turning into wires and so we need exactly 20 wires uh, reason why is because the machines need this thing that requires wires to craft. Uh, it's called a microchip, so that's what we need currently. Uh, we're gonna turn the rest of our iron into plates. Alright, and we are now going to make the first machine. So we're gonna craft the microchip. We're actually gonna drop and pick these up so we can just stack them. And then we're going to make the first machine casing. And then we're gonna make our copper cogs, which is just this. We're actually just gonna drop our zinc really quickly for the inventory space, and we're going to make the crusher. Uh, what this does is it lets us actually crush up our zinc and our copper ingots that we got, so we're gonna make an alloy called the brass alloy. Uh, if you don't know what an alloy is, it's just a mix between two metals. So we need exactly two crushed zinc and three crushed copper. And then we're also going to crush our iron while we're waiting because crushed iron is actually needed for this run. Uh, before we do anything else, we're going to make the crushed brass and we're going to cook that. We're going to take all this coal out and we're going to drop it down here. Uh, we are actually ready to make the next machine once we have the brass ingots. We're going to convert our brass to plates and we're going to convert our plates to cogs as same what we did with the iron and then just like before we're gonna make the microchip the machine casing and then we make the magnetic cleaner uh the reason why is because we need to clean this crushed raw iron and before and so we can turn that into a different type of thing so lastly we're just going to need to make the microchip machine casing take this and then make the blast furnace and then now that we have the blast furnace you can just place it down uh, before we do anything else, I'm actually going to get a bit more iron because as you can see in the bottom We actually need a singular piece of iron it's Kind of a blunder for, for me because I forgot to grab it earlier, but it's okay. It's probably behind one of the nodes up there But it should be fine Because either way we do need to wait for everything to cook So while we're doing that, I'm actually just going to pick this up and we're going to turn some of it into cooking coal or coke coke. All right. Put in the coal, the cooking coal, and the iron. And now we kind of just need to wait. And while we're waiting, I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab a bit more coal just in case, because it's right here. Uh, we have officially gotten all the coal that we needed for the run. And now this last bit, we're just going to take the iron that's in here forge it into a plate, create the microchip, and then the steel casing. And now we do actually need two more iron to make the 
drill head, so which is why we waited, because we're gonna actually grab this iron now. Which is because we're actually just waiting on the glass furnace to grow. See, if I were playing this game normally, I would actually be waiting and crafting multiple crushers and multiple of these. Because these actually allow you to get double yield from your ores. So you could crush it and then wash it, and then you'll get two ores from one ore, which is really nice. Okay, so we had the final material that we need, and we're just gonna turn it into a plate, which takes multiple different forges. And we're going to grab the last of our iron right now. Currently, we're just waiting for this to cook here, which we are actually really close. I'm actually gonna make another cooking pot. Which we don't have the inventory space for. We should be fine, but I'm just gonna put it in just in case. So we don't run out. Also, because, you know, we may as well. And we make the last cast iron ingot. Okay, and then we grab the last piece of iron and forge them. And we go into here, we craft this. And then we make the drill, and that is time in 10 minutes. Uh, so that's mainly how this game would go, except you would be playing it probably at a regular pace, and it, it is more fun when you play it at a regular pace. I personally believe that this is probably a really big and up-and-coming factory game, so if you do want to try it again, you could just go down and download this game for completely free. Uh, it was made. It's an indie game made by a small team of devs. I really recommend that you try it, and maybe you can do this run too. So this game does, if you, you can see in this game, it does actually have an achievement system. So maybe in the future I'd be able to speedrun all the achievements. Which we did actually get pretty close to, we just need to craft this drill and all the iron tools. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you in the Discord hopefully. Where I actually do have a full text guide for this speedrun if you want it. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you download the game.